up everybody back again holding the road I just want to discuss the conversation of uh, Jalen Walker uh, the guy in the Akron you know uh, said he was armed had a mask ran in front of police uh, he jumped out his car and sprinted from the police and was shot by eight cops uh, found 60 wounds in him and um, I think the story was at first he he had the gun and shot and then the cops responded with 60 rounds, 60 plus rounds. Later on was found that the gun was still in the car. I don't know if it was shot previously or whatever, but found the gun in the car, but the officer said he did shoot at him. You know, just just a wild, wild uh, misunderstanding. But for the sake of argument, let's say worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is before he did exit the car, he did shoot a round off, a two off, or shot a whole clip off. Um, he proceeded to run. They did say the guy, uh, they, the police officer tried to tase him uh, unaffectedly. You know, they say it didn't work. But we are talking about eight cops, supposed to be marksmen. Yes, it is dark. But uh, everyone, I think, on earth understands that bullets hurt. So let's say put two rounds in his legs. He probably dropped probably over, you know, like most cases. Uh, well, most cases, if the guy actually was a complete menace, I like I said, I don't know, have no deep details about who he actually was. Twenty-five year old young man, um, no idea who he actually was. But if he had robbed somebody, just trying to get some money, just kind of, you know, pay bills or whatever he may be trying to do, if he was a menace, he actually would have turned around or never even exited the car and continued to shoot from the car if he wanted to kill someone. But the cops shot this guy 60 times. Again, I'm thinking marksman, supposed to be trained. Uh, this is your job, you understand the situation. You gotta frighten young man because of, he know he's in trouble. If he wanted to kill someone, he would have already been shooting. He would continue to shoot. I doubt he would have just completely just ran. But again, this is my opinion. It doesn't take that many bullets to kill anyone. It doesn't take that many bullets to wound someone. No cop there should have been afraid for their life. We understand anything can happen, straight bullets, wild bullets, you know, but they should be trained, they have the equipment, they should be going through this type of exercise more often than not. You are way more trained than the guy you're chasing, period. So, that is, that is my one take on it because Many people are aggravated. It's not just African Americans. It's just aggravating that we see it's us all the time. Regardless of what we're doing, regardless of hey, this guy's from the hood, he was doing wrong, blase, blase, blase. Everyone gets that. Everyone understands that. What we don't get is why, in this particular case, in many cases like it, it's quick to be a death sentence. You don't get to go to jail, you don't get due process, you don't get to appear in court, you don't get to tell your side of the story, you're dead. Most of the time when people say you want somebody not to be able to tell their story is on a home invasion, because you never know what happened. Whoever is left alive get to tell their side of the story. But in this case, the body cam shows you're chasing the guy, it's eight of y'all, all armed, and you light him up. Once, let's say you shot 10 bullets, four hit, he hits the ground. Once he hits the ground, that should be it. You should all should be trained. They should all be trained to stop, watch as the man is down. If he was to continue to move and look like he's pulling the gun, okay, shoot him again. But you're talking about 60 rounds. It, look, it seems on the video it's directly into his back. So it's ridiculous. A cop can shoot someone in the back multiple times, not get charged. But me as a citizen in my own home, if somebody breaks into my own home, say, begins to rob my house or, or shoots at me once I see they are trying to rob my house and begins to run out the door and I shoot them in the back, I'm in trouble. But yet someone literally just broke into my house, could have tried to kill or do whatever inside my house with me and my family. But a cop has free range and free will to do whatever they want. It, it, it's, that, that part is aggravating. But let's, let's go back to many other cases let's say these mass shooters let's say the recent situation in texas which is mind-boggling and pisses a lot of parents off which i am a parent that cops let children be slaughtered 
before running in and being as active and aggressive. And it's, it's two different areas. I understand that's two different police forces. All police forces are not the same. All police forces are not fully seeming like they're just a kill force. Um, but in a situation like that, and you see the other men and women in blue react to a situation that any parent would have ran into, which some tried to, into a hostile situation with somebody with a gun that has the intent and show they will kill somebody. That person lives. That person is brought out just like the guy at the church, just like many other people, the guy at the grocery store. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he was killed. But just different, just, just different people, they, they are hesitant to do things. You know, even the guy at Texas, he was killed, but he could have been killed early. This man was allowed to go in and do what he did and cops waited, 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 and waited. So this guy who was running jumps out his car. You didn't wait on him. You didn't just continue to chase him and hopefully he get tired and you were able to tase him or grab him or maybe somebody speed up in their car and bump him and knock him over. No, you chose to unload 60 rounds. Pistols at that. Uh, Cause that was part of the excuse as well. They didn't know what type of firepower the guy in Texas had, and you know, they wanted to have breach equipment and tactical gear. A bunch of excuses. But my point is, it's a lot of deaths in this of people who are, and it's not, it's not, it's not always that way. But majority is that way when it's dealing with black people. Our Caucasian brothers and sisters. It is cases when cops have killed them. Everybody has Google. Everybody has news. You can see things. It's pushed to us that it's always black people. But the point is, the ones that we do see. It seemed like it's another way. The problem to me is not defunding the police. It's reorganizing. It's making them held accountable for stupid stuff like that. Whether you need to fire somebody, you know, rehab somebody, they mind the way you train them. Our cops should be put in any situation that has happened, that has paperwork on it, whether it's a chase, whether it's a breach and injury, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, a two-on-one situation, a three-on-one -on -one situation. When I'm saying that, I mean three cops, one uh, one assailant, or however they call it. You know, We need better training for our men and women in blue so they are really protecting and serving us, not slaughtering us. And I mean every American. Everybody here, we are all American. We want better cops. We want that structure, but we want that structure to work for everyone. You shouldn't fear when a cop come around. Most of us as kids wanted to be a cop. It looked cool to have the suits and the outfits on. You know, you can assert your authority when you need to. You can be the hero. But right now, most of our cops are looked at as the villains. And again, it's not everyone. But it happens too much. It's put out there too much. So, in any perspective, we need better training. We need our cops to almost train like the military. We need our cops evaluated on mind, body, to know exactly what they're doing, exactly what you can or can't do. More athletic cop might be able to run the guy down and tase him. You know, uh, a more a cop with more sense might have been to say, "Hey, let me take my truck, speed up and bump him and knock his behind over." I might not kill. Him. I might break both his legs, but he's not dead. You know, because I don't know what he had. I, they, they assume he had a gun. They assume, but he didn't. Uh, I was still in the car. So it should be many ways and many methods to deal with certain things. Again, I'm not a cop. I know cops. Uh, I see things. I hear things. Uh, it's just the point that a lot of people are tired. You know, and, 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 and in Jalen's situation, regardless of what wrong he was doing, from my eyes, from my opinion, he didn't deserve to die for it. I didn't hear that he killed somebody and then he was running. You know, just because you got a gun don't mean you're a threat always. You know, a lot, a lot of guys that ain't tough hold guns, um, cops included. So we need a better due process. We need way better training. We need our tax dollars really working for us, not harming us like it is. You know, regardless of what needs to be done as far as when somebody is in the wrong and doing things like this, but the amount of aggression that it showed to somebody that happened to be on arm, that happens to be black, it's ridiculous. Uh, we want better, period. Everyone wants better, you know, better mindset going into any situation. I can't tell you how to do the job. I can't tell a cop not to be scared, but I can tell a cop 
that you need your training. You need to be pushing for your training. If there are cops pushing for that type of training, to be in those situations, to have the gear that they need to handle what happens out there in the field that we all don't get to see, we get to see the negative stuff, not all the positive stuff, then we need to help our cops push to get the training they want. Ready as, you know, gym so everybody is, is fit and ready to, if they have to run and chase somebody, if they need more time on the range to become those great marksmen, we need to do that. If it need to be money put in place to have more people on the streets, you know, more people patrolling to have these guys more comfortable. If you need more different divisions of, of race, white, black, Mexican, whoever, to go in these certain neighborhoods that other cops don't feel comfortable in, we need that. Regardless, we just need to take our time and, you know, Everyone that's in blue, we need to train them. We need to get them ready for what's really going on. Get a wrap on this thing, man. It's, it's just too wild. It's sad what happened to Jalen. It's ridiculous, and uh, it's, it's just not what we need. Not in today's time. Y'all live right. Play fair.